Hey kids, welcome to VR Reviews. I'm a Boglin, and today we're going to be reviewing me, Clang the Boglin. Us Boglins were 1980s monster hand puppets. I'm one of the smaller subspecies, but don't let that put you off. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a closer look at me and all of my features. Huh, well, that was weird. Anyway, starting off with a quick size comparison, here you can see our Boglin. Unfortunately, I don't have any other actual Boglin-related things to compare him to, but here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Arm Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine, so you can see what he looks like compared to those if that's something you care about. Anyway, let's get everything else out of here and just look at Clang. Moving on to our 360 spin, here you can see Clang. Due to the way these are made and how they age, uh, it's hard to know exactly what he looked like originally in terms of coloration, but he is, at the moment anyway, orange and purple. Uh, the inside of his mouth should have some more paint in it. I know his tooth should be painted white and his tongue should have some more color on it than that. Uh, all in all, the sculpted detail is very cool. Um, it's all very detailed, like all the Boglins are. Very nice skin texturing and everything. Uh, his eyes are sort of marbly purpley pink color with little black pupils in them. Uh, he's got a big tail down along the back. Uh, arms uh, with uh, properly little sculpted fingernails and everything. All in all, the detail is very nice for uh, something like this. And uh, I think that it was done very well by uh, Mr. Tim Clark, who did all the designs for Boglins and lots of other things back in the day. Anyway, let's move on to some features and things of that nature. In terms of features, the mid-sized Boglins are not quite as good as the uh, the larger Boglins. They do still have the, the mouth movement, obviously, but they don't have the, the sort of mechanical eyes. They just have uh, little eyes. You can make them bulge out and sort of shift a little bit, but it doesn't really work all that well. And they do not have the uh, articulated arms like the larger Boglins do. But uh, you can still get some pretty good expression out of them, and they certainly still function as little hand puppets. That about wraps that up for our Boglin and all of his little features, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Packaging-wise, the mid-sized Boglins come in a scaled-down version of the large Boglin packaging, uh, which is still pretty cool, but it doesn't include the sort of uh, cage feature that the larger packaging does. Uh, Boglins, outrageous creatures that come alive in your hands. Uh, handle with care, you got your Mattel logos and little beware thingies and all those sorts of things. Uh, the box is going to be open to the elements, and Boglins get very uh, disgusting looking whenever they get covered in dust and stuff, so you may want to protect them in some additional way if you want to keep them clean. And it should have the name of the Boglin down there along the bottom, but uh, my box is torn, so this is possibly not even the right box for this Boglin, but... Uh, this box is better than no box, I guess. So, yeah. On the back, you get your little spiel about Boglins, your Bogologist field notes. From the mysterious bog that time forgot, I shall name these creatures Boglins. I theorize that Boglins may be the missing link to human personalities. Could it be that long ago, Boglins taught us how to laugh and cry, even to love? Boglins are very affectionate and each display their own distinct personality. May future Bogologists learn from these notes, and go on to discover new things about this amazing species. And then you get little pictures of the various Boglin species that are available. This form of packaging is of course good for in or out of package display. So yeah, Boglins. Well I know what you're all thinking. Man, VR, that was an excellent review. But no, you shouldn't be thanking me. What you should be doing is thanking God for me. And thanking God for Boglins. Thanks for watching one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like the video or subscribe if you would like to see my future content. If not, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash VRreviews, follow me on Twitter at VenomRaptor09, or follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash VRreviews. 
Thank you, and goodbye.